Hello there, we are so grateful to have you here with us today as we explore another powerful set of Bible passages. Today's readings take us on a journey through the weighty themes of betrayal, judgment, mercy, and the call to endure faithfully in Christ. Let's get started with the book of Ezekiel, followed by the deep encouragement from Hebrews, and end with the sobering psalm of King David. Let's draw nearer to God together through these readings. Let us begin this journey with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your wisdom and guidance through your word today. Lord, reveal to us the lessons you have for us, and let these scriptures transform our hearts and minds. May your Spirit open our understanding as we read and reflect. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining us today for another life-transforming time in God's Word. As we go through today's readings, may your heart be strengthened, and your spirit uplifted. Let's explore together the depths of God's justice, sacrifice, and the assurance of His victory in our lives. Ezekiel chapter 23 verses 1 to 49. The Lord uses a vivid and dramatic parable in this chapter, depicting two sisters, Ohola and Ohalaba, as representations of Samaria and Jerusalem. God, through Ezekiel, paints a powerful image of spiritual adultery to highlight the unfaithfulness of his people. Ohola, representing Samaria, and Ohalaba, symbolizing Jerusalem, are described as engaging in harlotry with their neighboring nations, thus abandoning their covenant relationship with God. The imagery here is intense, showing how they allowed themselves to be seduced by foreign gods and practices. God declares that the consequences of their betrayal will be severe. For turning away from him, he will allow their allies to become their enemies, bringing devastation upon them. As painful as it is, this passage is a stark reminder that unfaithfulness to God comes with consequences. However, it also shows us God's righteousness, he does not tolerate sin but provides opportunities for repentance. Yet, when people repeatedly turn away, judgment follows. In our lives today, this story is a sobering reminder to examine our own hearts for idols or anything that competes with God's rightful place. Are we turning to the world for satisfaction instead of relying on the Lord? Let's heed this warning and seek to stay faithful. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 18 to 39. The writer of Hebrews continues to emphasize the all-sufficient sacrifice of Jesus Christ. With Christ's perfect sacrifice, there is now no need for the repeated offerings of the Old Covenant. The scripture says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 18, Now where there is remission of these, there is no longer an offering for sin. Because of Christ's sacrifice, we have complete forgiveness and direct access to God. But this passage also carries a serious warning, once we have received the knowledge of the truth and deliberately continue to sin, there is no longer a sacrifice that remains for our sins, only the expectation of judgment. This is a call to endure in our faith, to hold fast to the hope we profess. As it says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36, For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. This call to endure applies to us today. Are we steadfast in our faith, or do we waver when faced with challenges? Let's hold on to the promises of God, knowing that He is faithful. No matter what trials or persecutions come our way, let us stand firm, trusting that God's grace is sufficient. Psalm 109 verses 1 to 31. In this psalm, David cries out to God, pleading for justice against those who have wronged him. He feels surrounded by enemies who have repaid his kindness with hatred and deceit. David's prayer is raw and honest as he lays bare his anguish before God. He calls upon the Lord to bring divine retribution against those who have falsely accused him saying in Psalm 109 verse 4, In return for my love they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. This psalm reminds us that when we face betrayal, slander, or mistreatment, we can bring our grievances to God. He is the righteous judge who sees all and will vindicate his people. Instead of taking matters into our own hands, let's follow David's example and turn to God, trusting that he will defend us. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 13 Take the garment of him who is surety for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he is surety for a seductress. 
This proverb cautions against the foolishness of taking on financial responsibilities for those who are unreliable. It speaks to the importance of exercising wisdom in our relationships and commitments. Summary of Key Lessons Learned Today 1. Spiritual unfaithfulness has severe consequences, but God calls us to repentance and faithfulness. 2. Christ's sacrifice is once and for all, let us hold fast to our faith and not take His grace for granted. 3. God is our righteous defender, instead of seeking revenge, let us bring our hurts to Him in prayer. And 4. Exercise wisdom in our commitments and guard against foolish entanglements that could lead to loss. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the profound lessons in your word today. Lord, help us to remain faithful to you, rejecting the idols of this world that try to draw our hearts away. Strengthen us to endure in our faith, holding fast to your promises, especially in difficult times. When we face betrayal or attacks, let us turn to you for justice knowing you see all and will vindicate us in your perfect timing. And give us wisdom in all our dealings, that we may not be ensnared by the schemes of others. May your word transform us, making us more like Christ in our walk. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving, Amen and Amen. Thank you so much for being with us today. If this devotion has blessed you, please share it with others and continue to join us for more life-transforming teachings. May you grow deeper in your relationship with God and experience His abundant grace daily. God bless you abundantly. Shalom.